Since the dawn of time, humans have had to work hard to survive against the elements. But they have also been afraid of supernatural threats. People have always believed that there are supernatural entities living among them, out in the wilderness, even in their own homes. Some entities are scary and threatening, others are friendly and helpful. Some beings are useful, while others harmful. But even the nicest entities can still be dangerous. This is why you must always be careful with the supernatural, because you seldom know what you are dealing with. Of the entities living in Nordic forests, few are as varying as trolls. There are many types of troll, but usually they are quite hairy and filthy, as they hate to bathe. Many have big, long noses, but tufted tails are also common. But beyond that, the similarities become fewer, for trolls can look like almost anything. Trolls can vary greatly in size, from as big as a house to being small enough to hide under mushrooms. Some trolls even resemble mushrooms. Trolls are creatures of nature and can adapt to many different environments. They can hide almost anywhere, pretending to be gnarly trees and great rocks. Some trolls live under bridges, lying in wait for anything edible walking over the river. Even though most trolls live in the wilderness, some choose to live in old castles. While trolls usually resemble hairy beasts, there are those that look almost human and can pass for regular people in bad lighting. The most human-like trolls are the Huldra, female trolls that are closely related to fairies and who join in on their dances. Trolls can either be very stupid or very wise, but not much between. Some trolls have more than one head, which still doesn't necessarily make them any smarter. Trolls with only one eye, however, can have a great knowledge of hidden secrets, for the one-eyed trolls are often better at seeing the magic of the world. All trolls can do magic, which is why troll women are usually witches. That is why trolls can be seen on Blokula, celebrating the witches' sabbath with the guests of honor. Even though trolls can be mighty creatures with magical abilities, there are many things they fear. Among these, holy symbols and the sound of church bells cause trolls great pain, so they prefer to live far away from civilization. But trolls fear the sun most of all. Most trolls are weakened and hurt by the bright light, but some can be turned to stone if they can't hide in the dark fast enough. What all sorts of troll have in common is that they can be very dangerous, especially if you are traveling alone in the woods. In the best case they might only rob you, for trolls are greedy and love gold. They like to fill their nests with all sorts of treasure. But if you are very unlucky, trolls might invite you over for dinner. Trolls are also dangerous because they sometimes try to catch human children and replace them with their own offspring. Besides these changelings, there are other ways for trolls to have children with humans, for the Huldra sometimes marry human men. Trolls usually have very large families with loads of children running around the nest and several generations living under the same roof. While many trolls prefer to live alone, most still enjoy great feasts with plenty of food and drink. The food that trolls enjoy might not be on par with human tastes, but the trolls eat with great relish whatever they can get. Troll parties are always wild and raucous. The troll woods are full of many types of troll. Some larger, some smaller, some frightening and some quite nice. There are trolls of every kind, and they are waiting for you out in the wilderness. 